having an amazing day today. On the menu today, we have old school salmon patties. Yes, old school. Make sure you give your girl a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. To get started, let's go over the ingredients. I'll be using one egg, some flour, cornmeal, an onion, and a 14 ounce can of salmon. Okay, you guys, now this is how the salmon looks inside that can. You wanna make sure you drain that liquid that's on that salmon. We have our salmon drained. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead and break it apart. And what we're gonna do is remove that skin. I have my can right here that I saved to put all the skin and the bones into. See those tiny bones? Now, some people, they do leave the bones in and just mix it up in, but I like to leave mine out. So it's a personal preference, you guys. If you wanna leave your bone in, mix it real good. But if not, just go ahead and just take it out. And what you wanna do is you just rub it. The skin comes off really easily. And the same as the bones, it'll come off really easily. And you wanna make sure that you remove, remove that piece of that bone. Now once you have the skin and the bones removed, just pick through your stuff and make sure there's not any big pieces of the bone remnants. And you wanna go ahead and give that a good mix. And I like to go ahead and mix my egg up in a bowl real quick. And then that's when I'll add it to my salmon. Now you just wanna go ahead and pour your egg in and then mix that egg all into that salmon. Okay, now once you have your egg mixed in, I do like onions in my salmon patties, you guys. That's a personal preference. So if you're not a fan of onions, you would leave this out. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and mix our onions on up in now. Now we wanna go in with a little bit of our flour. And add in a little bit of that meal. And you wanna give that a good mix. Okay, at this point, you can go ahead and start forming your patties. So however size you would like your salmon patties, that's the amount of the salmon mixture you would grab. And you just wanna form it into a patty, just like so. And now if you find that your mixture is like a little bit too loose, you can add just a touch more of the meal and the flour. And now out of that one can, we were able to make six patties. And I'll zoom in, hopefully y'all can see the size of the patty. Okay, so we have our grease preheating. As I tilt it, you can see about how much. You wanna make sure your oil is up to temperature. Now, how do you know if the oil is up to temperature, you may ask. What I like to do is this little straggler piece of salmon, just drop that in. See how that sizzled up? That means that your oil is ready and you can go ahead and lay your patties down. Give it a slight press and try not to overcrowd your skillet. Okay, we have the patties in. You want to let these cook till it's nice and golden brown on each side. And to check it, you just want to lift it up slightly. And that's the color that I'm looking for. So we gave that one a flip, and you can check the rest, the other ones, to see if it's looking about like the color that you're aiming for. And if so, go ahead and flip it. Look at that. It's an old school recipe right here. I grew up eating this breakfast, lunch, dinner, any time of the day meal. Some may cook faster than others. So whenever you have some that are ready, it's okay to just go ahead and pull that out and let the rest of them working on my second batch that's plenty of oil to go ahead and fry the rest of them up but if you feel like you need a little bit more oil go ahead and add it we like to pat ourselves with either some buttered rice and some biscuits you can make some grits with it it'd be excellent 
or just whatever you prefer to eat with yours, but we like buttered rice. They cooked about three to four minutes on each side, you guys. Now y'all know I can't leave y'all without giving y'all that first bite. Let's look at this salmon patty. Look at that, you guys. Take a bite. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you set that to all. Make sure you hit the like button also. Help support your girl. Drop me a comment. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.